We see today the beautifully and authentically restored Grandin Building, situated in Palmyra, New York. The restoration of the Grandin Building had as its objective to maintain the historical integrity of the building while allowing the visitor to be enveloped in the history of the time. This is where the first edition of the Book of Mormon was printed, with a number of copies in this first edition totaling 5,000. An unusually large order for the rural printing business, Mr. E.B. Grandin had acquired a Smith patented improved press from New York. The press featured new technology over the common presses of the day and offered the prophet Joseph Smith the prospects of printing the Book of Mormon closer to his home. Let's turn back the pages of history that we might more fully appreciate one of civilization's greatest wonders, namely the advent of movable type. Before Gutenberg discovered the possibilities of movable type, everything was printed with a quill pen letter by letter, line by line, page by page. It was movable type from which Mr. Grant had printed the Book of Mormon. It was tediously composed by the hands of a skilled compositor who learned from memory and experience every typeface, font, and size available. After the page was formed, it was inked and printed and then was available for binding. The Lord brought forth the Book of Mormon at a period of time when printing methods would enhance its distribution far and wide. Modern day printing presses now enable the church to print and distribute many millions of copies of the Book of Mormon each year. May I share with you an experience I had many years ago in the southern area of the United States, when after a state conference, a woman came forward and asked, do you know Elder Delbert L. Stapley? I reply that he and I were apostles of the Lord, serving together in the Master's work. She then handed me a copy of the Book of Mormon, which contained an inscription and the signature of Delbert L. Stapley. She indicated the volume had been given to her grandmother when Elder Stapley was a young missionary. She added, could you present this book to Elder Stapley and tell him hundreds of my grandmother's descendants? have been converted by this volume. And they, in turn, conveyed the message of the Book of Mormon to others. I presented that signed copy of the Book of Mormon to Elder Stapley. He listened attentively when I explained where and how it had been given to me. Quietly, he examined his signature and said, this is one of the happiest days of my life. It is my personal testimony that the Book of Mormon changes human lives. It is indeed another testament of Jesus Christ. <laughs>